that's April 2020. A peak corona time in our state. Quarantining and lockdown was compulsory everywhere. There was nothing to do on weekends, precise Zoom calls with your friends. We thought to have a conversation virtually through the Zoom online platform. On Friday night we arranged a small drinking party to have some fun. Ashley, Hallie's, Sophia all connected to chat on sharp time. I was scrolling my mobile phone for no reason, after getting a call notification I also put my phone away and joined the call. But Alexa was not there. Few moments later finally Alexa has joined. When she joined, her screen was black. We all joked around asking that what's up with the webcam? She has started typing on Zoom chat, saying that she did not know what's wrong with webcam and microphone. We continued to joke around about it, but also tried helping her. Eventually she typed that she is going to figure it out what was happened to her computer. So we all were talking and drinking on video call while Alexa is trying to fix her computer. Something randomly happened sometime our call. Something completely unexpected kind of creepy sound. All of a sudden Alex's webcam was started working, and there was old creepy man doing something I don't want to repeat, he noticed the camera turned on. He quickly jumped to close the laptop, the screen went dark again and started to freaking out. We tried calling Alexa but now it seems her phone was switched off. We did not have her mom or sister's number. We agreed to drive Alex's place to see what's going on. Her mom opened the door, we asked that Alex was home? She said yes and call her down, but Alexa never responded. She told that Alexa was in her room before one hour, we told the whole story what was happened, to her mom. We was wondering that what happened to Zoom call. Then we heard a sound. Someone knocking Alex's door, we all rushed to her room to see, but no response, Alex's mom immediately called cops that second officer Perch came to our place, we told them everything, they also tried to open the door but it was locked, so they kicked the door down, finally broke through the door, they started to open the door slowly, but there was no one on the bed, laptop and phone were left on the bed, window was wide open and seems someone should escaped through the window. Later found Alexa in basement, she was hiding under bed at the corner of the room, she was saying when she was on the call, she saw a creepy old man holding a knife and stick in his hand. He was trying to attack Alexa, so she was escaped out of window and went to the basement. But none of us couldn't catch that person. Later police has announced this and said in local news and requested people to be careful. Luckily, a Zoom call saved Alexa and her family. A few weeks ago, my friends and I decided to arrange a reunion, since we didn't meet anyone for a long time. Also got the time to connect with the lockdown in the country. We all were college students and we have lost contact with each other. So we decided to post on social media to inform all about the reunion. We made it open to all the people to join the call. Even, we accept some unknown persons as long as they were in the mutual friends. We got so much of response from our college mates. We want it to be a biggest social event, so we didn't really care who joined. And finally the day arrived. I scheduled a meeting and posted in my Instagram story, because there was too many people to individually text. Which I realized was a big mistake, because I basically given everyone access to join the call. The Zoom meeting began normally and we were excited to meet our old friends. We made some new friends as well. Few moments later a stranger joined our call with a username and few numbers along with the name, and it was started to make annoying noise. I muted her microphone. We had a friend named Anne. We thought that she was pranking us. We told her to stop the sound because it was annoying. 
but got to know that N has not attended the Zoom call due to prior engagements. We surprised and asked this N person to open her webcam and show her face, otherwise would be removed from the meeting. They didn't show the face. So I removed her. Zoom called resumed, we all were joking about the incident. Suddenly my internet was became weak, and I had to leave the meeting. When I joined back few minutes after, someone taking the opportunity and entered to meeting. This time they started to show their face. Play a video of Black Tunnel on loop. We were terrified and lot of people started leaving the meeting because of him. My friends and I decided to determine the person who was disturbing our reunion. We cannot simply remove them from the meeting. Again our internet connection was became poor and few of my friends left the meeting. Somehow that person became host. There was nothing we can do now. Account was still playing the video in loop and typing something in a weird language. We could left the meeting but really wanted to know who is disturbing our call. Suddenly video has started and that person started to talk in distorted voice, and asked me how your brother rap. I was got shocked for a second. Here is the thing, I had a brother who died before birth. My parents wanted to name him Rab. They told me about this when I was little and bagged me, don't tell about this to anyone. Only my parents and grandparents knew about him. Since this subject was too painful, they never disclosed this to others. I also never told about him. Soon after we have moved to new city. The only who know about my brother in the city was my parents, I never told anyone, even to my close friends about him. I had no idea how this guy know about him. Truly had no way of knowing that I know about him. With shaking hands now convinced without a doubt that, this was a supernatural occurrence. I wordlessly exited the meeting. I do not know what happened afterwards. I never responded to his text and did not talk to them. This was a horrific experience I ever had.